and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, we're con continuing our love affair with the Celestis and Graveyard Shift. But now, just like we added green to Is It to make it a little better with Titan of Industry, we're adding green to Demir to see if we can bring Demir up to speed and get it to compete in a world of Goldspan Dragon and Boros nonsense. So the idea of using Graveyard Shift at instant speed to reanimate Titan of Industry, I was excited about Holebreaker Horror, but the thing with Holebreaker Horror is it's only against decks that actually have two mana removal spells like Doomblade type effects. Getting back a Holebreaker Horror is only as good as how many spells you have to protect it. Getting back a Titan of Industry, even if they have a Doomblade effect, is like, you still get a ton of value. You still get a 4-4 four, four with a shield counter or 5 life where you take out their Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Like, it, it really gets paid either way. And when you do it at instant speed and you blow up their combat with instant speed, 7-7 seven, seven with a shield counter and a 4-4, four, four, like... One Doomblade isn't going to save the creatures they want, They just charge in with. So this is a really cool version of the Titan Reanimator strategy, and I really enjoyed the games playing with this particular deck. Once again, when you look at the shell, it's black and blue control, but it takes it a step further to have re the Graveyard Shift also have a bunch of different types so that you can get all the different casting costs in the yard. And we're really, really pushing the Celestis. Like... This card, along with Graveyard Shift and along with a lot of what I'm doing, just that life gain, I, I am working the Celestis right now. I'm just cranking it, baby. Just run it up. Another life, another card. I, I don't know why it took me so long to give it like mass adoption to, into all of my control decks. I feel I played the Celestis more in the last two days than I did in the last since it was released. Maybe that's crazy, though. Probably not true just the last uh, 48 hours of intense recording session to try to get all these videos together i think uh, i think it's doing things to my mind i think it's i think it's sucking me sucking me dry a little at a time but in the glorious name of keeping the people entertained and showing why i am the one in best of one it's not just a title it's a way of life well that's what we're here for to keep the Graveyard Shift satisfied in case we don't draw a Titan, I also have Hullbreaker Horror and All-Seeing Arbiter. This can also discard a Titan to reanimate later if you want to do things that way. And then in the mana base, we don't need that many green sources, even though it takes triple green. I, I, I found it interesting, right? In Is It, I was like, am I ever going to cast Titan? In Demir, I'm like... Eh, maybe sometimes I'll cast Titan. Maybe sometimes I'll actually get to the triple green. But I've only got eight ways to do it. No treasures. The Celestis. I, I don't really worry about it that much. Sure, I've cast it a few times. But for the most part, you just pitch it to your Tainted Indulgence or your Celestis. And you wait till the moment. The moment is right. And you graveyard shift it. Boom. Right back into play. Get them. You're going to enjoy the games. I had one uh, that I will never forget, even though I recorded like a billion games in the last two days. Super close, super tense. I'm basically, I'm at two life playing around a play with fire, trying to figure out how to make these things work. Uh, very exciting. I say I'll never forget it, but now I'm like, was that the other video where I reanimated a whole breaker horror? You guys already know the answer. Roast me in the comments. Uh, do check out the link in the description to see if the playmat is still available. If it is, make sure you grab them. It was out by this time last time I stocked them. Of course, it also wasn't during the summer. Generally speaking, viewership goes down a little, but the strong survive. So I have a feeling that they're already gone, but do check. And if they're around, make sure you get one before they're gone. Because once they're gone, they're not going to come back for a while. Now, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. And as always, you're cool. Hello, this is Jin Gataxius. Seriously, it's actually me. CGB's channel is mine, and I'm holding you all hostage until you feed my hunger for subscriptions. So subscribe. Subscribe, you pleb, subscribe to the channel. And when my hunger has been quenched, I will call upon the powers of the Prismatic Bridge. And together, we will make CGB play 130 cards on this channel. I'm 
totally serious. This is not working. Subscribe. Your goal is 169,420. 169,420. <laughs> nice. Subscribe. Well, two hooks, two marches has to go the distance. But I have black cards to pitch to my marches. Gonna play a blue source on one to not give away the stick that the march would create if they play a creature. There's nothing I'd want to kill on turn one. Alright. Useless draw. I'll have to draw a discard effect. Eight of them in the deck. Act leader. Yeah. Let's hold. Celestis. A little bit of a trap, but we're gonna do it. I say it's a trap because I'm worried about Snakeskin Veil. Vale. And troll. Easy. Okay. Tough decision coming up. Well, hopefully we just rip a land. Okay. Well, it's a land. It's a land I kind of need. So what's the plan? Just kill all their things. Green is really good at beating those plans. If they have a snakeskin veil, I get blown out so hard here, but I think I go for it anyway. And by it, I mean I pass turn. I activate Celestis. Take action. Do I discard Titan here without a shift? I think I discard one of these hooks. We're really close to playing the Titan. We just need one more green source. Okay. No veil, no, no veil, no veil, no veil, no veil. No veil. Cool. <laughs> shuffler. Please, shuffler. All right. Fun. Take the hit from the troll. Dude, just drop a Titan on him and we'll be fine. All right, we need another green source. One more green. It's like splashing the triple green seven drop is hard. Weird. So I could hook both of these, but then the opponent plays Chariot or the thing that makes two four fives. They're in a pretty good spot. <clears throat> Yeah. I could not kill this troll. That seems bad, too. They might use an inscription. That'd be a bit of a blowout. But it would at least still kill one thing. Found the line. Please cast another spell for me, please. <clears throat> they will not. They will not. The all pathway punish. Okay, they still didn't draw a veil. They could make this thing an 8-8 with the flip, but it doesn't quite kill me yet. Okay, that's tapped, right? Do I get another shot here? And cast no spells? Alright, we get another shot at a green source. And then we still have March. Okay. 
There's the green source. Let's do it. Rawr. Now we have this is the biggest monster. And we're at 11. So green can hit hard, but not quite that hard. How much to flip this? Seven. So because they made that troll, they're a little short. I mean, they can blizzard brawl here. And they can attack me. Let's see how much it works out for. If they were going to attack me with a lot of things, they probably should have made this and this one indestructible, right? All right. If they have inscription, they win. Down to two. Up to three. They double spell. It's going to be a Celestis trigger. Hand indulgence. Better late than never, maybe? All right. Let's uh, pass the turn and use the Celestis. And before they draw that snakeskin veil. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Prowler, I guess, is the biggest headache on the board. I could have tried to bait them for lethal, but then if they do draw snakeskin veil, I lose. And that would be too embarrassing on YouTube for me to fathom. I think whatever happens here, we can just chill. Interesting. Uh, behind the Celestis and we'll be okay. Oh, they drew a fight spell. Okay, tighten down. It'd be a good time for a reality shift. It'd be a good time for not land. That's three lands in a row from the... No, four since we played the Titan, right? That's a good draw. Oh, I should have let that go to upkeep. I could have had a loot. Oh, well. I got too excited. Okay, third pack leader. God! They're all, the, their creatures are so good. I mean, there's not many creatures we'd want to see there, to be fair, but man, are they good. That's instant speed. That's awesome. We're going to have instant speed Titan. That's going to be the scoop bringer calling it now. They're not going to make it through that. Come to daddy. Hello. Four, four, uh, shield, I guess. Your inscription won't save you. It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. Uh huh. Hard for your five to trample over a seven. Is this just spite? What's going on? Okay, they did have the inscription. Shield counter laughs at you. Laughs at you. How about that top deck, though? All right, my turn. <laughs> they didn't concede. Do I owe them, like, some respect points or something? 
Maybe they're also on a no scoop challenge. Another graveyard shift. Ooh. Don't, yeah, yeah. Draw a way to kill my Titan. Go for it. All right. That's that. Oh my God. That was scary for a second. The Titan. The Titan is amazing. All right. That's a good hand. Mana's looking okay. We don't have double black, but we don't need it right away. No indulgence this turn is okay. All right, got there. Like, I'm still waiting for something I actually want to discard a lot. Hopefully something we can just reanimate. Our opponent is on the super slow is it plan. Everybody's favorite. And to be fair to them, it's the only good control plan in the meta, like as far as like A and S tier decks. So it is what it is. I'll let go one of these because we have no creature to reanimate. So not the nut draw. We got some work to do. When it drops off a galvanic iteration, so maybe their mill is going to resolve this now while they're tapped out. Uh, okay, I guess I do need a Titan in hand. Do I just take land? I mean, this a graveyard shift might get countered, but I don't have a way to discard the Titan now. I think I just take land. Worst case scenario, I get up to seven mana and flashback memory deluge. Fable? No Fable. No Fable, sus. Okay, two Titans, let's go. There's a fable. They were scared to play it last turn or they just top decked it. We'll take the Celestis. <clears throat> Probably one of the more important cards we could hit here. They might blow it up. It's not like I have something to do with the mana, but I guess I could kill a gold span. Maybe that's good enough. I'm going to feel really bad, though, if they blow this up. Yeah. Make them do it. Make them do it on my turn, which I don't know if they have the guts for. Or on their turn, I'd rather. March. It's got to be a Hinata deck, right? It's got to be. Island is the land for turn. All right, now we, they pass to me. I definitely don't have to discard the Titan here, but if I do, the reanimation is a lot cheaper and instant speed, so let's do that. Oh god, here comes big score time. So I don't have any counters I'm gonna hit except Jawari. That's not good enough. So I guess we let them have this and try to get them to commit to a play on their turn. It's really hard to beat big score Galvanic iteration shenanigans. Land. Do we try to reanimate? I have three mana open. There's good opportunities to like, there's good opportunities to try to draw out negates here. There's also a good chance that they're going to go for like a magma opus. And I guess if they go for magma opus, then we want to shift because we don't want them to tap this. Let's go for this.
Okay. Not enough there for an opus. Okay. I, at least it's on their end step. They might have to discard here, but I mean, I'm gonna have a really hard time beating this. It's a huge mana advantage. I guess I'll take a soul shatter to try to fight a dragon and an indulgence to draw some cards. Then do I try to march this? I guess I'll try to grasp it now that I have the indulgence to cast and the soul shatter in hand. Okay, they didn't have anything. That implies they don't have any instance the way that that just resolved. That's bizarre. We've got two shifts. If I go for this, I only have two mana left, which is pretty bad. Oh, well, I think we still want to do it on their turn. Seven values in Graveyard Pog. So when I put this on the stack, it resolved way too easy. I still feel like I'm supposed to go for the Titan, but... I just want them to commit to something. And then try to blow it out, you know? I mean, they're halfway through their deck. What does their deck even do? I, I, I assume Magma Opus has to be part of the equation. They have a white source that's not a white source here. Okay, they're going to cast another big score. Okay. <laughs> I hope they're the body of knowledge combo so I can just totally blow it out. <laughs> All right, that resolves. So I just can absolutely blow out the body of knowledge combo with a giant march of Wretched Sorrow so my life total is bigger than their library. That's what I really hope happens here. Let's go for it. That resolves. Cool. Uh, I will make a 4-4. Four, four. Probably just gets Fading Hoped. But for sure I want to destroy this. My turn. Discard a card. What is going on over there? Is it just the worst draw of all time? Because I'm down for you having the worst draw of all time. Like, I'm in. I don't think that hook is going to be a big part of this game, but the Jwari probably... I mean, I can play the Jwari as a land, so it's fine. I can also play that as a land. Do we have another Titan down there? Not yet. Do we have to discard? So, why didn't they do that before they discarded? Just didn't see it? I could just try to cast this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, if I had one more man, I would. Sound bug acting up, guys. All part of the experience. All right, half the deck to go. Can still find a hole breaker horror, which they would probably really not like. Let's see if they can combo off here. Yeah, they're going for Leer. All right. But what if your soul were to suddenly shatter? Do 
You gotta keep the mana from being too good. I mean, there's a lot of options here. They're gonna try to go to attackers. If they do... Hmm. If they do, they get another treasure. They get four mana. They get to easily, more easily cast some of this stuff. I think we allow it. And I'm not going to try to ambush with the graveyard shift either. Let's just hold. Okay, they say go. In that case, now we'll do go for it. It's a lot of pressure, dude. Like, what you gonna do? When Titan Mania runs wild on you. I guess I can force a little action now. Just a little. Oh, they let it go. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. We'll take those. <laughs> Rawr, Titan! Alright, Deluge. So they have to block, and if they block here, they still die. So they have to use a Fading Hope, or two. Let's force some action, baby. What you gonna do about this? Okay. What else? Okay. We cheated him into play and nothing good came of it. So the bad news here is they still have the march. So we can go for, if we want to, we can go for double march. Like, we have double march of Wretched Sorrow. So we can go like, march this, then march this. It takes all of our mana. If they don't have another Leer, we're in a good spot. If they do have another Leer, we're in big trouble. But I guess we eat up all of their treasure. And I really just wish this Titan was green and black <laughs> so much. I also wish I discarded one of these and kept a uh, Infernal Grasp a long time ago. I should have kept like the split, the more efficient cards. I mean, they have to play the march. Or they could let it go. And maybe that's what they're thinking about. Maybe they have more leers just ready to go in the hand. Oh, they're gonna use shelter. Good. All right, now we just hope they don't have another leer. They only have three cards left. And their graveyard has been knocked off limits. Fable. Here comes a Gabo Shamo. 25 life though, long way to go. Four for attack. You gonna go to five? Surge, sacrifice treasure. Let's go, big guys. It's time. I might need these I might need these lands the way that this game is going. Man, an untapped there would have been nice. No! No! They have Shijiri's shelter. The shelter is down there. The march is down there. We're not getting rid of this one. We're not getting rid of this one. And the opponent's going in for the treasures. Make them use their surge here if they want to get rid of that 4-4.
I think they drew that Leer. If they had it last turn, they would have played it, right? So now I can't really get rid of it. There's like nothing I can do to get rid of it. So how I, I just have to plow lethal through all this card advantage. It doesn't seem possible. It really doesn't seem possible. I mean, they're basically drawing the rest of their deck now. Yeah. I guess Hullbreaker Horror is like, <laughs> I can try to bounce the Leer if I find the Hullbreaker Horror. And then keep it off the board. They are hitting the rope though. They are hitting the rope hard. Yeah, that's not surprising. I'm surprised it took that long. Down to two. <sighs> Letting them untap. I don't think there's anything I can do about it, though. I, at this point, have to find Hullbreaker Horror, right? And every resource could matter. They could also, like, maybe they make a mistake at end step and put, like, one of these big scores or windfalls on the stack here. If they do, maybe in response I find a removal spell, but I don't think they will. They're doing it. Seven. Okay, they're gonna do it. Top seven, instant speed removal. Mauling. What else do we take? Can't believe we're gonna get rid of that thing. Um, But there isn't more removal, is there? And we're gonna have only one mana left over. Hmm, <laughs> should it be more cards? I think I just need like a cheap play, right? So I'll take the indulgence. Put those Jawaris on the bottom, please. All right, kill it. Two Leers down. An empty handed opponent. Will they top another Leer? Probably but I'm gonna make him do it. Oh my God, we got there. The greed, I can't believe they went for that. I can't believe they went for that windfall. I just can't believe it. Wow.